Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of Art Matters. My name is Rena Thaler, I'm the Executive Director of the Art League of Ocean City, and you're here in our home, the beautiful Ocean City Center for the Arts on 94th Street in Ocean City. I'm joined by Megan Burak Lowe, our Education and Marketing Assistant, and we're gonna tell you why art matters this month and every month. Brought to you by our friends at the Ocean Downs Casino, where the fun shines. Well, Megan, mm -hmm. every month I say, the galleries look amazing, and they really do this month. They're so cool. Just so many different interesting things to uh, share with people here. So yeah. tell us a little bit about what's showing on display at the gallery. We're really excited to welcome David Scott Smith downstairs in the Thaler Gallery. He has some amazing ceramic pieces down here, really unique. Um, they've got these interesting faces that are of humans, but also of animals, um, a lot of different textures and elements in these. So definitely something you want to see with your own eyes. Right. And David was our fellow this year. So he's worked with the art community for the past year. And this is kind of like the culmination of his year in service here at the Art Center. But um, there's some crazy pieces here. Some <laughs> of them he actually made during the, our block party last year. Some fountains, some uh, st strange looking wall hangings, but really interesting, cool things out of clay. And um, David is the associate professor head of the um, ceramic department at Salisbury University. So shout out to him. Definitely come see his show. Yeah, and then we have a cool group show upstairs. Um, perspective is the theme. Um, so it's all visual perspective up there. Um, and then we have a really interesting artist um, in um, our spotlight gallery as well, Kenny Jones. Mm -hmm. And it is Black History Month. We're honoring um, our African-American neighbors and friends. And uh, Kenny's show is about the Black Congress, it's called. And it's all about the role of the barbershop in the African-American community. Really outstanding exhibit. You get a great uh, crowd at the opening reception. It's something that everybody should come in and see. People don't realize how large the art center is on the inside, that we have multiple gallery spaces and studio spaces and classrooms and lots and lots of classes coming up this month for yes. people to enjoy. Yeah, we have like a big um, watercolor workshop coming up the end of the month as well, um, as well as all of our pottery, watercolor, painting. Um, we had some silversmithing classes. Yeah, just every kind. You don't have to be an artist. You don't have to have any art experience to come in and enjoy and create here at the Art Center. And uh, you can find all our classes online, ocart.org. So pretty much every day of the week, even weekends, mm -hmm. evenings, there are classes here for all ages, children and adults. And, uh, and we have a pore painting class going on right now. Yeah, so. so check them out. And then, of course, coming up is our big film festival, the Ocean City Film Festival returns. Um, next month, and we're getting ready for that. Yeah. Lots to talk about there. Yeah, um, we're welcoming back John Waters with a brand new show. He's going to be live at the Performing Arts Center with Hairspray, mm -hmm. which we're really, really excited about. Um, and then we have over 100 films um, this year, local and international films, um, all different kinds of, of film blocks this year as well. Um, yeah, if you parties. haven't been to a film festival before, you don't want to know what a film festival is, it's more than just going into a movie theater and watching films. It's being able to interact and engage with the filmmakers, the independent filmmakers that create these films and ask them why they made it and um, find out more about it. And then to party with the stars because it's four days of films, uh, March 7th through 10th, plus lots of networking and party. We have some industry only events and some uh, great ways. That's how films are created these days is at festivals and people show their films at the festival, hoping mm -hmm. to get to the big festival, Sundance, and then have their film be purchased to go um, streaming or on Netflix and all. Yeah. So come on out and be part of all the fun. Um, you can see more about that on our website, ocmdfilmfestival.com. So lots to do here on 94th Street. Check us out. We hope to see you here engaging with the arts.